Hey guys, Daily Tech here, and we're going to be testing out the long-awaited ceiling mount for NOLA VR. We're going to be trying this out in a game called Super Hot. Is this going to give us the great 360 degree experience that we all hope for? Let's find out. If this is your first time visiting my channel and you're interested in all different types of VR, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything else in the future. So just a couple days ago, the Nolo driver got an update that allowed the ceiling mount to work in Steam VR. Now this is supposed to give us 360 degrees of glorious VR, so this is awesome news. The way this works now is that you need to download a separate DLL file and then put it into your Nolo install directory. This is going to overwrite a DLL that's in that folder already, so if you are going to want to switch back and forth, you're going to have to make sure you get a backup of the original one, and then just rename it back and forth as you go. So for me to get this tested out properly, I ran into a whole ton of problems. Problem number one is that my ceiling is only about 7 feet tall, so I got about a foot of clearance above my head. That's not going to work at all. I also don't have a 3D printer, so I can't print out that fancy ceiling mount so I can use it down on my main floor where the ceilings are about 8 feet high. So to get this tested properly with a good height, I'm going to have to go down to my garage and then use some makeshift mount that I had to throw together. Now this leads me to my next problem. I'm not ready to unhook everything from my PC and then drag that thing down to my garage just so I could try this out. Because I know for a fact there's no way I'm going to get everything put back together and still have my PS Move setup still working then. So the only option I can think of is putting a wee bit of an extension cable on the tether for Nolo and seeing if I can run it all the way down to the garage. Alright, maybe more like a 100 foot extension. Now that we have all of those problems worked out, hopefully, we're ready to give this thing a test. So let's head down to my garage and we'll see how it goes. As it turns out, Nolo and Riftcat had a lot of trouble being streamed on the same USB cable. So I had to run a Wi-Fi access point down to my garage to get the Wi-Fi down there. I just added a second NIC to my computer and ran an Ethernet cable down to a wireless AC access point. Surprisingly, this worked extremely well. Alright, so we're down here, everything seems to be working. I've got my base station mounted right above me here. It's over eight feet tall, so I should have plenty of space to play with. So let's just jump right into it and get into game and see how this thing performs in 360. Okay, so as expected, I've got my hands here in front of me, so that's normal. And let's see how we do with a turn. And I keep hands the whole way around. That's pretty awesome. But this is my fear here, is that if I start walking forward, now my hands have disappeared. So I can't really walk forward. Oh, I'm starting to get them back. There they are. And then if I turn around and go this way, I'm actually getting some decent range on this, I think. Oh. And I'm losing it. So, as you can see, I do have 360, but you don't get to go all that far. So, um, just make sure that you stay in one spot. And actually, I'm going to double check to make sure I'm right under this. And I am not. There we go. Okay, so I'm right under this. Let's try the game out, though. I don't know if this game needs 360. I don't think it does. But either way... Okay. Easy enough. Just box them! Just box them! Give it a try. Don't mind if I do. I got rocked. Okay, let's try this again. But I guess the trick is, is that you can only... When you move, they move. So you can really deliberate with every move you make. <clears throat> there we go.
Clean it up. Oh. Oh. Oh, he shot the bottle in the air. And the face. <laughs> that was awesome. Ah, in the face. You, come get some. Yeah. Ah, in the knee. <laughs> Get this. Okay. This one not hard. These guys are seriously they're not too difficult to kill these guys. Maybe it is. <laughs> Just as it opened my mouth. That's easy enough. Yeah! Eat it! So, I don't know what to do. Do I just duck the first shot? No. Oh. Ah. <laughs> right in the face. Okay, I'm trying to get. Boom. This is getting easier. This part. This is just not even really. Come on, just swing your fist until they die. Get out of here. Get. 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 Get off my stairs. Uh. See him going too far there, that's for sure. Oh. How do you beat this one? You can't beat that. One more try. <laughs> that worked amazingly well. I thought it wasn't going to be all that good. I was a little bit skeptical but it did pull through and wow, I am really happy I was wrong on that. Looking back at the gameplay footage, the play space I had was way bigger than I initially thought it was. So if you have ceilings that are at least eight feet high and ideally nine feet high, I'm sure you're gonna get an awesome experience out of it. I'm also blown away that I could run NOLO off that 100 foot USB cable. Now for a quick review on the game itself, the game played really well with NOLO. I think it's a really cool and smart game. It looks a lot easier than it actually is. What it is in essence is it's a puzzle game. It's not a shooter game, it's really just a puzzle game. And again, looking back at the footage, I realized exactly how I could have beaten that third level. All I had to do was block the bullet with one item and then throw a second item at the guy. So I guess next time I should make it through that first shot. Another thing a lot of people have been asking me about is how's that headset going to perform? The headset I was using was my Mojang S1 and that thing actually performed extremely well. The field of view on it is really astounding. 
As far as comfort goes, I played it the whole time and I noticed no discomfort at all and I could have been playing it for a lot longer if I wanted to. I did run into one problem however and that was that the phone actually overheated on me. Now this could have been a combination between the fact that it was awfully hot outside when I did that video but secondly there's not a lot of ventilation in that headset. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm probably going to drill a couple holes right in the front of it and that way I get a little bit more airflow through. If I have to, I might think about putting a fan in. But for this headset, the field of view and the comfort, I think it's totally worth doing some modifications on it. Now unfortunately, I can't keep that 360 setup going. That was a huge pain to get it running, but at least I got to test it out. So from now on, I'm probably just gonna run with Nolo stuck up in the corner of my wall and enjoy myself some front-facing VR. At least I still have my PS Move set up if I really do need a 360 setup. But anyways, thanks for watching the video and if you enjoyed it, remember, leave it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content in the future. And we'll see you next time.